follow Agent Miko. Following. Welcome back, everybody. Hey. Um, oh, he's way down I'm, there. Oh, wait. Try to make them afraid. Yeah. We only made them angry. Wait, what the? Oh, We're okay. HMO5. I'm Adam. Andy's next to me, playing. Um, kind of a follow Miko. Come to fly this Tie Fighter through all this rubble. So, um, yeah, if you guys have been keeping up on this, this is uh, right after the Death Star blows up and we just got off of Endor. And I'm trying to follow this guy. And it's, I'm, he's, oh, gosh. Commander, we have a problem. <laughs> he slowed down a lot all of a sudden. But yeah, so uh, we both saw Star Wars over the weekend, which was yeah. pretty cool. So. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that later in the episode. Yeah, we wanted to get a little bit talked in since it'd be convenient. We'll, we'll talk Star Wars. Yeah, we'll play Star Wars. Yeah, we'll um, yeah, Force Awakens, Part Two, um, <laughs> The Last Jedi. Uh, came out uh, a couple of days ago. Actually, that's about a week. Ago. Uh, no, it's only not Monday. Quite, not quite. It's only Monday. It's, yeah, it's only Monday. Man, this looks sweet. Can you see all this? Yeah, it's like the planet in the background shit. That's really cool. Just go to that planet. Wait, Let's there's... Fuck those guys. Why are you flying through rubble anyway? Just fly, like, it's a, Yeah, why? it seems like you just go around it, considering... Wait, what the hell's going on? Why are we shooting that TIE fighter? Engine pass, we're approaching the Corvus. What's the status on the engine? Oh. Is that him? Where'd he go? It'd be funny if you just saw, like, the Empire... Like, the Emperor's body Just floating it, yeah. I should be great to just see a bunch of stormtroopers just like, yeah, help us! What's going on? What the fuck? Oh. Okay, there we go. This is easy! Easy, so I've easy. Actually, um, I've been playing online, and most of the time when I play online, I actually just do the Starfighter stuff. And uh, doing the Starfighter battles is fucking fun, man. Which, actually saying that now, I feel like that means I probably should try to put myself in a bad position of uh, <laughs> making sure I don't fuck up Yeah, <laughs> doing this right now. I was like, Shoot. so you must be pretty good at this part then. As you're getting fucking I'm, uh, I'm super PA, man. Dual barrel! <laughs> Dual barrel, okay! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> pretty smooth flying, Fox. Hey, save some for me! <laughs> These are my Star Fox impressions. Well the yeah, Andros's enemy is my enemy. Yeah. Preppy old pal. <laughs> it's a big, great for anyone that has watched this place. Oh, yeah, Fox yeah. way yeah. back and I. Oh shit! That. I forgot we played that. Yeah, we did. Actually, I, we didn't get very far. We didn't get very far, but I think that's when the old guy started messing up. Yeah, because we had a lot of. He's on the fritz hey. there. Just let me shoot you down, dude. Come on. Our can't hold against those wings, Commander. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Agent Hask, status report. Yeah, that was okay. uh, Elgato V1. Yeah, that the was the first generation Elgato we own. <laughs> Which now the other, the second generation Elgato we own is starting to kind of be a little fritzy. I don't know if it's the Elgato or if it's like the computers. Yeah, it might be more the computer, oh, no. but... Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Hey, do you remember the movie The Last Starfighter? No. For real? Uh, th that came out like late eighties, so, like when we were super young. But um, that it's like, well, have you seen previous to that like show coming out of Hulu with the, the one guy that plays Peter from um, Hunger Games and stuff? And he like gets really good at a video games. game, so like these guys from the future come back to the Oh, Future Man. Yeah, it's the last Star oh, yeah. is pretty much like that. But based around like a different universe and stuff. Uh, what the He's fuck happened? Did you see that X wing that I shot and blew yeah. up and then it reappeared? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah, all sorts of glitches today. Oh, that's right. We're we're just recording some Last of Us, and uh, <laughs> there was like a an enemy guy that came through and like was trying to fuck me up, and then all of a sudden he glitched through a wall, and I was like, what the hell happened? I just rammed you. Whoa. So anyway, Whoa. Um, without spoilers, oh, God. what uh, what was your impression of the, uh, oh, okay, the last yeah. so yeah. guys? Spoiler free discussion right now, Commander. we'll make sure to label Perfect it for timing. you guys. Um, I, I liked the movie, I, I liked The Last Jedi, um, I did not like a lot of the, a lot of scenes in it that were just strange. 
and uh, I guess in particular I was expecting more out of Luke, because Luke did not seem very Luke-like in this movie. Yeah. So I, oh, I thought maybe I left the area I was supposed to. Hey, I got a trophy. There was a thing that said Mark Hamill wasn't too happy. I heard about that too, actually. I, I don't know what to what extent that means, but um, yeah, I mean, I could, I can kind of see that. And I grew up experiencing probably the Last Jedi first. That was my first Star Wars movie was the Last Jedi because it came out like a few years before we were born or something like that. You mean Return of the Jedi? Or, I'm sorry, yeah. I was going to say the Last Jedi sorry. just yeah. came out. The Return of the Jedi. Ago. You're fucking nuts, dude. Names are way too similar. I, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Evan and I are old enough that we pretty much experienced the Return of the Jedi. Yeah, when we were in... I believe it was about so fourth or fifth now. grade. That's we when the uh, special editions all came out. Yeah, yeah. And that was when the um, was Shadow of the Empire. Foundation so that was rebels. when I got That's really big into Star Wars. Wars. I was a fan before that. My uncle, um, Jamie, always had his Star Wars source? action figures and would watch those movies while he was babysitting me oh. and stuff. So okay. I always right. liked those and Freddy Krueger. Those this are the movies my babysitter honor. would I choose to share show me. As a child, before I was in elementary school, even. Who is this guy? Sorry to cut you off, but I'm curious. It's the Emperor. Whoa! Wait, so is he like. He's doing his contingency plans. So he's been uh, put into a robotic body? Um, it's a pre recorded message. Oh, okay. Like, in case this happened, press 1. In case this happened, <laughs> press 2. Would you like to hear this in Spanish? Se habla español. But, yeah, no, no, no. Back to what we're talking about, though. I, I had the same thing where... I, mean, I would always watch the original trilogy on TV. Yeah. They'd always show it on TNT or USA or yep. Spike. Yep. Um, I watched the, the remastered the ones when they came out with those with the extra scenes. So, like, I don't know, experience of that growing up as a kid and seeing the new, like, What's our target the way they portray Luke is strange. Yeah. So. I, I mean, if you... He's kind of portrayed like Yoda was in Empire Strikes Back, where he's kind of, like, not all there. But, I mean, he's been living by himself, but I don't... Yeah. A lot of These yeah, a lot of people have been saying like that's that's what they didn't care for was like Luke Go wasn't Commander. actually Luke in the movie. Do what you do best. Without going too far into details. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we're we're gonna do our best not to get <laughs> spoil anything. a whole yeah. lot. Um, we'll we'll let you know what you plan on getting into that stuff. <laughs> my main thing is they kept driving certain points across like a lot through the movie as if like the audience is like completely stupid <laughs> um, without spoiling much like the entire movie was like having like a check engine light on or whatever because they were just like oh we're running out of gas and then five minutes later oh we're probably running out of gas a couple minutes later oh we're running out of gas and you're just like just fucking run out of gas and <laughs> I understand this. do something. <laughs> so I mean that part was you know was Come here on. or there. Yeah. The and ones. then uh, Good work, and yeah, Mark just Ray, them pretty much stating like this is the beginning of the Disney era of Star Wars. So go fuck yourself. If you got a problem with it? You kiss our ass because you're gonna pay money to see this shit anyway. So <laughs> that was uh, that was my take on some of the dialogue and take away like, first. Yeah, I could see that. Too. So. Go, guys, go! So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the... Sp I guess, I mean, I don't think there's, there's any spoilers in that shit that we did. No, I mean, the only thing you do is confuse the people with the gas situation, which is fine, because it's not spoiling anything. You're just like, yeah. what the fuck are they talking about? Yeah. Hey, get out of here, this is our area. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, my other issue with the new Star Wars movies, and I, I told Andy this just before we started, was every movie they add to it, um, I mean, this one especially Whoa, made it seem close. like that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, this one especially made it seem like that, but like every time they add a movie to it, it takes away from the original trilogy. Like, the power it had. Like, the Return of the Jedi, like, ended perfectly. Yeah, they had a, a and excellent wrap-up. To me, like, The Force Awakens, like, it was it was a decent movie. But, like, 
to bring back like all the shit that like was going on in the galaxy and be like, oh yeah, by the way, Jedi didn't end that great. So all this shit's happening now. So that was like starting with the Force Awakens. So it kind of it took away from that, and then like this movie kind of had took away some of the steam too from the original trilogy. Um, I feel. Um, and so like. You're just kind of like, okay, well, what was the point of watching those three movies if, if shit's like, oh, shit. <laughs> just going to continue shit away for everybody? And, yeah, you know, like, it's it's a movie, so I feel like, you know, Force Awakens, uh, what I was telling Andy was, uh, like, it should have just been, like, like taking place on, like, a different part of the galaxy or yeah, be pretty cool, cause somewhere down down the road, yeah, when, like, a, to an extended timeline where you're not quite sure how far into the Star Wars universe future it takes place in. Like, mentioning Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia as if they're legends, but you're not sure if, they still exist if they're still around. Like, yeah. They definitely have heard of them. Yeah. That'd be pretty neat. And that's that was my thought on it. Like they, that way, like all the people could be like mentioned because they're heroes of the galaxy type of thing, and there's just something else going on. There's like you know a different separatist group type of thing happening, or you know, I know it, you know it's just my feelings towards towards yeah. the new movies coming out, which probably would have did justice to a lot of the old school fans. That yeah. Just like, hey, but all the newbies that have never experienced Star Wars, this is new thing for you. Yeah. You can go back and watch the old ones if you want to, so the most the legends are all about. And, but, I mean, I don't know. I can understand it from multiple perspectives. Like, yeah, they want to get a new thing going and they want to roll out the old characters and then bring in the new, bring ones. In the new ones, you know, in a way they deem fit. But, so, I don't know. It, yeah. Either I mean, way, overall, the movie was good, but I guess if you were, if you're a huge... You know, person into the old school trilogies, you're going to be a little bit down. Yeah, and that's probably always going to be the case. Yeah. Unless they were to, um, I mean, unless they were to, like, continue based off of, like, the, like, all the millions and millions of, like, books that were out there before, that aren't canon anymore, they're Star Wars Legends. That's all of them. Um, like Luke Skywalker having a kid and like a clone girlfriend. Oh yeah, clone Luke Skywalker, a clone Emperor, and all the shit that like happened, like all the crazy shit that happens. Han Solo and Princess Leia's three kids, uh, Jason, Jada, and uh, Anakin. Oh, I think that was and, like seeing what all the shit that they go through. But I know like Disney wants to come up with their own canon and like the fucking. Like now, like legends, uh, stories and stuff—they're not considered you know, canon or anything like that. But it's like continue with that stuff and take ideas. But you know, it's weird right now. <laughs> we're we're such a comedy-oriented channel. We're having such a serious discussion. <laughs> yeah, that's I weird. Mean, I mean, it's 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 Star Wars, so it's it's been my life for a long time as. A, like I said, since I, since before I was in elementary school, I've been watching Star Wars and like playing with Star Wars action figures and like, oh, yeah. coming up with my own stories yeah. with everybody. And um, me and my best friend through like elementary school and like middle school, fucking play with Star Wars action figures all the like, You know what? Uh, one thing all the time. Getting on a little bit of a different topic. We are done. <laughs> See how awesome I'm doing right now? You are doing pretty good. You haven't fucking, died in a little while. Fucking sweet. Only when I ran into the transport and get way too close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, close combat. That's what that's all about. Anyways, this is totally You're different, but um, Jurassic Park. Uh, I remember back in the day in elementary, I used to go on the playground and just pretend I was a raptor and chase people. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Oh, we, we invented like a game kind of like tag that was based off Jurassic Park. We had all these Nerf guns we'd play. Not at not at school. You couldn't bring Nerf guns. To oh yeah, school. no, no, for some fucking reason, which is stupid. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'd play. Uh, like one of them was one of us was like a dinosaur. It'd be like me and my friend and like his older brother and their friends. Jesus Christ, you just brought back some memories. Yeah, I know. Man. They had a um, the the cool thing was they had a old um, pitching cage, a oh, batting okay. cage in their backyard. So like we like the dinosaur would start out there and we'd get to like go run and hide like there's like woods around. Uh, there's all sorts of like uh, Whoa, geez. 
<laughs> fucking trees and like a playset and stuff we'd go climb play. up in. Showed it. Oh, I probably gotta shoot that open. Whoa, man, that would have been close. Oh, shit. Get out of here, X Men. Well, yeah, we play we play like a version of uh, Jurassic Park tag. Um, you know what sucks now being older is the Nerf guns are so much more badass than they used to be. I know. God, it's freaking sweet. I'll play board on there. Yeah. Hopefully I'm shooting I have a feeling I'm going to board or blow up. I have a feeling I'm going to... Whoa, buddy! I have a feeling I'm going to crash into the... Uh... You can just go through it. Oh, I get... You're right. Jodah! <laughs> Massacre! Yeah. Kill that A-Wing. Stand a chance. Yes. By the way, for anyone that doesn't know on the channel, I'm all about the Imperials and Empire, so this is totally... That totally, guy just uh, disappeared. <laughs> just, he's like, I'm so scared I died. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that, that was very fulfilling. Alright, so we will uh, continue this in the next one, and we'll probably have spoilers in the next video. Oh yeah, so uh, we'll give you a little bit of time so you can kind of... Okay, I gotta pause it, jeez. Yep. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll give you a warning, and we can get into the spoilers a little bit later in the episode, so you can still watch part of the episode that we're going to record. Yes. That'd, that'd be unfair. Should probably make it quick, too. Yeah. That way people can continue watching the campaign. But Anyway. But yeah, anyways, uh, we'll, see, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.